everybody, it's your girl Taro, and welcome back to an episode of Wild West RP. As you can see, we have a new character. This is Florence Hendricks and her brother oh, Elias wow. Hendricks. And uh, they are hey, brother sister duo. To mom sewing kid? I don't know what you're talking about. Or dad is gone. Wow, well, aren't they back at home? I don't know. I haven't seen his gun since he passed. Please tell me we didn't bury that with him. Mm. Oh, hold on. We might I'm a little have. confused here. Oh. Sister, you got a map on you? Ah, I think so. Hold on. Mm. Yes, I have a map here. Here, let me hand it to you. Here you go. Oh, brother, uh, he's gonna shoot us. Um, um. Hold on. Sir, that's kind of rude. It's it's very rude. Now, give me a minute. Let me get that map. Let's see where the hell we're at. All right. So we just crossed over tracks not more than twenty minutes ago, at least, right? I would say so, yes. Alrighty. By a big set of water. And if I know these roads and those tracks from our tallberry, I would say we just passed where we were supposed to churn. I mean, we can always back up the uh, wagon, can we not? Yeah, yeah, we can. There's your map back. Thank you. Let's see if I can get him to just turn us around. Maybe. The worst part of this is it's starting to get dark now. I'm sure we'll be okay in the wagon. I sure hope so, sis. All I gotta say is before. If I see anything coming from the bushes, we're going. So make sure you're ready to hold on when I tell you. I'll try my best. Oh! Oh, you okay? The wagon's a bit slippery. Yeah, Maybe I don't think it's meant to be said. Maybe we should invest in a second horse. That, well, if we do that, you'd realize there's not any form of protection for us. I, I guess. So the question is, which one do we need more? Is that question? I mean... I might be able to get something small with my if I got it on myself. We'll have to see what you can get then, see yes. Well, we'll have to get to Valentine first, so <clears throat> Don't worry, we'll make it. God damn that lag! I don't think I've ever come this way to Valentine. Well, it's it's definitely a nice route. It's a quiet route, yet a lot of people seem to be using it. Quiet can mean two different things. That it can. Look at that view, though. Does it look like a storm be a brewing? Kind of hard to tell. True, with it being going on duck dusk or not, I don't know anymore. I managed to save that. Damn. Do 
Do you think that gentleman up there is headed to Valentine too? Uh, it's very likely he's taking the path that we would to Valentine, and he seems to be hauling it. Or was. Does he think that we're following him? Ah, see, so many people go on these trails, I'm sure everybody feels like they're being followed. Mm. Not everybody gets so worried when they see if somebody <laughs> coming behind them. Well, shouldn't at least. Well, I wouldn't think so. Then again, you never know nowadays. Things seem a little more chaotic every day. Are you criticizing what I'm wearing? No, I'm just trying to make sure you're still warm in this cold rain. I have enough. I got my hat and my jacket and my gloves. That should be plenty enough. Uh, we might be staying in Valentine tonight. Mm, definitely seems like it. Maybe it'll blow over. Told you something was a brewing. Wonder if the shops are even open at this time of night. I'd be surprised if they weren't. Oh boy. Valentine seems to be a hot spot for some storm lightning. Get parked up. I want you to go on and get inside. I'll go ahead and set up though. He's fine. Well, I was gonna head to the gunsmith. That that's all good. That's for getting inside, system. Well, I guess you're right on that. Alrighty. Where to lead the horse? Maybe just straight up front. Like, just ride straight and just park it in the grass up there. That definitely seems uh, like it'll work. Yep, that probably would. Out of everybody's way. Mm -hmm. As quickly as that rain came, seems like it went. Careful there. I'm alright. I'll go ahead and get him turned around for our departure. Okay, I'll be in the gunsmith. Sister, I need you to keep track of a little bit of finances here, alright? Or a little bit of the money. Um, I was never good at that. Oh, it shouldn't be too much, should it? Well, I was never good at that. I guess I'll just put what I have in the, uh, bank and I'm pretty sure I can find something. Well, hold on, hold on. Might be able to work something out well, here. Don't you still need to get yourself a horse? So, 30 and 25, 30, 50, that would be 70, I have 39. What's the cheapest horse, do you know? Um, 20, I think. I could probably make it work. I mean, I have 19, which means I have to get the handgun. I'll just need 25. So that would just be... Uh... Six dollars, I think. Yeah. Are, are you alright? I'm fine. You said five? A six. Because the cheapest handgun is 25, is it not? Yeah, it is. <sighs> there we go. Alright, let's go get that horse now.
wonder what horses this table has. I don't know, sis. We'll see in a moment. I'll probably take a look. I'm not one of riding a horse not attached to a wagon, but maybe I can learn. Well, it's better than how we were doing this. Well, we got here, didn't we not? How many times did you fall into the dirt, sister? I don't know. Five? I was counting on like six or eight of them. Well, one of us is counting wrong. Well, you never said, you just said you weren't good with numbers. Okay. Point. There we go. Whoa! Someone <laughs> is excited. He does definitely seem excited. You gonna get him a saddle? As soon as I figure out where. Uh, Probably just outside. Um, I'm not sure this place has one where you can purchase a saddle. Maybe over here? Right here. Brother, right here. You you might want to bring your horse over here so you can watch him put it on. Yeah, you're right. Got just under three dollars left. Well, I guess we have to go get some money then. If we want well, to eat. First, I need to make a stop to. Wherever, outhouse or something. Mm, I think that's around back. You think that's a what? Around back of the saloon. I see some buildings All over there. Right. That little shack. Yeah. Right over here. Right that Yeah, way. I'm gonna see? go tie down the horse real quick. Anyways. Oh, I named him Ned. Ned? Yeah, I feared something was better than nothing. Okay. The guy suggested Ed, but I decided Ned was better. Oh. Um, is there a dog on top of the... Is there roof? a what? It looks like there's a dog on top of there. I'll leave you to dead. There's definitely a dog. What you doing up there? <laughs> what, what, what you doing up here? Well then, Florence, you sure know how to explore. Lucky I caught you out the corner of my eye. Well, I didn't go that far. Well, no you didn't, I guess. Looks like they left the back door open, so I'd have found you eventually. <laughs> I'm just checking out the sun. Yeah, it feels a little, uh, dull in here. A little quiet. Do you want to play a game? What game you thinking of playing? Devil's Dice. Hmm. 
Don't think I ever had a chance to play. Okay, come sit down. Basically, I have dice here. We rolled the dice starting with, uh, you know, the quote unquote devil's number. Well, I think I found out how to sit on air, sister. <laughs> You're silly. So why don't you stand up and try to sit in the chair this time? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Hey, I guess the chair works. Okay, so, how the... So, basically, how this game works, um, hold on. Can't play with all these in the way. Okay, so, we rolled the dice. Oh boy, I gotta take my hand gloves off now. Well, you don't have to. So we rolled the dice. The first person rolls uh, the dice starting at 666, and whoever hits one first loses. So, so I'll go first. So I'll roll. And I got a 220. So now what you want to do is you want to roll 220. So my goal is to hit a 220 or what? Less or higher? You don't want... To hit one. If you hit one, you lose. So you do roll two twenty. Oh, that's not fair. What? I feel oh, like I did. Damn it. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> you wanna go again? Why not? Okay, you can start. So roll the six six six. Mm-hmm. Well, one ninety seven. 144. Oh, that's... What? <laughs> no, you rolled a 6. You gotta roll... Oh, 144. What? You rolled the wrong dice. I, I know I hit the 144. <laughs> Damn. That would have been funnier than hell. 35. That's how loaded. Are you trying to accuse God me of some loaded it. dice, sister? Yes, I am. You rigged it. Now, how would I rig it with you hulk dice? I don't know. And me only picking it up after you finished. Well, I don't know. 270. 278, actually. 33. 19. 9. Oh, this is not fair. Okay, I give up on this game. Obviously, I suck at it. You're alright, Florence. Don't <laughs> worry, your brother just always had that lucky charm. <laughs> well, you can say that. I can say more than that. <laughs> it's a decent dice game. Uh, most fo most folks uh, gamble with it, but... Oh, the only game I'll gamble with is <laughs> poker. I'm not sure if I... I've never actually played poker. Well... It's not easy, but not hard. Strawberry? Yeah, let's get our way back home. While there's still daylight to be had. <laughs> you know, I can't remember. Were you shorter than Mama? Um, I think I was, but not by much. I, I knew that much. It was always a hard contest between you two. <laughs> you might want to speak up a bit, brother. Oh, don't worry, I haven't said a word yet. Okay, I wasn't sure if you were trying to talk or something. Sometimes nope. it can be hard to hear on the road. At <coughs> least we're not right in front or behind each other. <laughs> I 
think your horse is a little better than mine. What do you mean? He seems to like to keep up a certain pace a little quicker than mine. But I mean, pulling weight seems to be easier for them. Real shit. Are you alright? Other than the fact that I was pushing you off the road? Yep. Hmm. How do you do? Say, you got. You know what way we're going, right? Because yes. I'm not the one driving anymore. Oh, wait, just kind of hold support. on. I think it's this way. Sorry. I kind of got distracted with the, uh, scenery. Mother, father, why am I trusting the challenge, or directionally challenged one? I know where I'm going. Do you now? Yes. Well, I sure hope so. Cause I'm not leading the way this time. Elias, I know where I'm going. Oh, <coughs> all right, Lawrence. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Doesn't seem very convincing. I mean, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt this time. Trying to make it by night, floor. Well, that would be more preferable, yes. Yeah, because you seem to be pushing it hard. Well, my horse ain't doing much. <coughs> so much more mine. Oh, don't run into me now. I'm not trying to. Trust oh. me, this one's harder to control than yours. <laughs> Leave it to the little sister. Oh, turn into Cindy. the right. Turn into the right. But what were you saying? I said leave it to the little sister to send me through the bushes. What? I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to crash into that coach. No, you just wanted your older brother to run face first into a telephone pole. Or one of those telegram poles. Well, whatever if that you is. can't if you cannot avoid a pole, that's not on me. And if you can't avoid a coach, that's not on me. I didn't hit the coach now, did I? Face first into a <coughs> well, that's not my problem. Well, it could be your problem, sister. Well, it's not. We're taking a left. You sure you can control that thing at that speed downhill? Yep. All right. Don't blame me when you run into something. I'm all right. Mother and father are gonna come back. And they are not going to do such thing, and you know it. But no, something about the favorite child getting hurt might not be the best for them. <laughs> I'd never hear the end of it. Probably not. Excuse me, sir. Probably slow down a little bit. Don't need to be jumping over the railroad track. <laughs> it was fun though. Uh, favorite child, also the daredevil of the family, it seems like. We're taking a right. <clears throat> I mean, if you don't live and you just play it safe all the time, where's the fun in that? Well, I don't know. I just never saw you as the one to want to not play it safe. Maybe that's just my imagination. To be honest, you were never around that much to notice. You're too busy out with Pa. Well, listen. I had to learn how to shoot a rifle somehow. Well, I wanted to go. Well, then why'd you never say anything? Because well, Mama wouldn't get you. 
Yes, Mama wouldn't let me and Pop didn't think it was a place for me. Well, let me ask you this. Do you know how to shoot a rifle? I know how to shoot a handgun. A you know, handgun is a little different than a rifle. Well, I've hold, held a rifle before, but I don't think I've ever shot one. Might be worth trying to teach you a little bit then. Sounds like fun. Only if one, oh shit. Oh, you can't go over, you can't be cutting in front of me like that. Oh, don't worry, they bumped heads, they're fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Where? I saw it around here somewhere. Unless I'm Listen, mistaken. Florence, we didn't even come from this direction. Oh no, this was a way. Well, you weren't awake. Oh, it's a graveyard. Huh. Oh. You found yourself a graveyard, Florence. I did. Alright, Mama and Paul's grave is probably somewhere in that. I forget which one. Maybe. <clears throat> well, what since we we're here. In the woods? Since we're here, we might as well just, uh, explore a bit. There has to be a place where we can call a house. Yeah. Follow me. I want to go check something out. Uh, okay. Worst case scenario, we go back into town and that place that said it has apartments and we go from there. Mm. I mean, I guess an apartment would work fine. I'd rather a home because I don't know how to... Sharing a room is a great idea anymore. Plenty of folks Depends. share a room. I guess you're right there. Well, what's this? That's what I was looking on the map for. For oh. some reason, they still had it marked. Does anyone live here? I don't know. I don't even know if it, what's going on. We'll check it out. Worst case scenario, we go get the horse and bring it on up here. If no one lives here, I'm okay with it. Hold on. Over this way. Ooh, knock, knock, brother. That's an interesting statue. It, okay. Um. It looks like it might be the local taxidermist. Or it's just abandoned, one of the two. It's a bit dusty. Just a little bit. Oh, wow. Um. I mean, it's a house, I, I guess. You know, I'm sure we could clear half of it out. I, I mean, I don't hate it. Some of them are quite interesting. Oh, never seen those little racket things. Huh. I say we can definitely uh, utilize this place. If you want to get the horse, um, I'll, I'll, well, I'll start dusting. Oh, uh, one moment. So what we could do... Oh, I just heard someone. Let's step out on this side. I guess I'll be sleeping downstairs with the taxidermy. Why? It looks like only one bed. I mean, you can sleep on the rug. I'm sure clearing off one of those dresses down there will hold me up just fine. <laughs> Are you sure? You don't that want to sleep I'm in front of the this... fire? It gets cold at night. That or I'm clearing the desk off behind me and I'm sleeping on the desk. If uh, I sleep I on think that the floor, floor, I'm not getting up. What do you mean? The floor is probably more comfortable than a desk. You really think so? Probably. Now let's find some pills and blankets. <clears throat> it looks like the only ones you got are on that bed. Did you check out everything downstairs or in any of nope. the... Nope. Yep. Yeah. Then how do you know those are the only ones? I said it looks like they are. That's why I said we should look for them, Florence. I guess. 
The horse will be fine down in Strawberry for the night. Unless you think I should go get it. No, I think the horse will be alright. It's getting dark anyways. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Looks like a lot of stuff to start stuffing these animals a little more. <laughs> I actually did find, it's, it's not a pillow though, but there's some blankets. Let me see how good of a condition they are. Yeah, well, I'll check these ones. Uh, they're not in the best of condition, but I can uh, sew them back up. But they'll work for tonight. Yeah. Well, tonight's all it needs to matter. Okay. Right now. Put in here these cupboards. You know what caught my eye, though? There's a nice looking chest up there. Well, I'm grabbing these blankets anyways. I can mend them. So. Yes, you are small enough to fit on that bed like that. Hell, that bed probably not big enough for me. My body. Paul always said I was the big boy. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that to work. <clears throat> Alright guys, so I'm going to leave that episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye!